Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are here with TXP3, and we're going to have one of the most anticipated matches here, at least I'm hearing of the day so far. We're going to have Pulsive versus the St. Clair Saints, and I'm sure a lot of people are excited for this one. And uh, I'm joined by the one and only Zarin Legend, the coach of the St. Clair Saints, and I want to pick your brain about what this matchup is going to look like today. Yeah, um, honestly, this is going to be one of the best matches we're going to see all day long and perhaps even of the tournament. I could very well see both of these teams going mm. and meeting up somewhere down the line tomorrow. Um, this is basically going to be the battle for this group right here, I think. Maybe. Um, whoever wins this match is likely going to go on and win the group. Obviously, you want the one seed going into the winner's bracket, but um, we'll talk about the teams first on the, <laughs> on the other side. Uh, Pulsive um, with the likes of God Bowser, uh, Rispy, Driz, and uh, Wisers. Um, God Bowser actually played season one of the Elite, so th that's probably their best player overall, I think, on this <laughs> roster. Um, and he's accompanied by uh, very... Very helpful teammates, let's say, too. They're, they're very well known within the scene. Um, mostly S&D grinders, I'd say, but they have had some success in uh, Challengers Cups before. So a very good squad on that side. And, of course, on the St. Clair side, the hometown team uh, this weekend. Uh, very excited to, to see what they have to show. Um, Bendy going to be coming into the lineup uh, in favor of KB for this weekend. So mm -hmm. uh, it'll be interesting to see if, if the OG squad from uh, semester one of this year is going to, you know, pull, pull some good things together um, for the series coming up. I got a lot of hopes from them. I know at least Brandon is very confident. Every time I see yeah. that guy, he's like, we're going to, we're going to win. We're going to own. Uh, he says in uh, other ways as well, but I know that this matchup is going to be very exciting for sure. You also told us uh, what maps we're going to be having up. Do you remember those? Yes. Uh, so we're going to have six star hard point, six star search and destroy. And of course, Invasion Control. Mm -hmm. uh, many varying opinions on uh, the likeness of Invasion Control, but I see. Um, at the very least, we get to see Six Star, uh, one of the newer maps that got put into the game just mm -hmm. a few months ago. Um, this map plays very, um, very mid-centric. You're going to see a lot of pressure towards the middle of the map, and that's how you're going to find success on uh, Six Star Hardpoint. Okay. This should be good. This is this should be an absolute war. Uh, St. Clair has had success on this map. Not really too sure uh, if Pulsive uh, favors this map. They did actually pick it, so okay. uh, perhaps it's one of their stronger maps. So I think we should be in for a good game one here. Yeah, I mean, I think we're also most likely going to see a game three coming out of these squads if what you're saying is true. And I, I don't think you have any reason to lie to me. I think that these are going to be very good, close matches. But we're going to get started at six star hard point Saints Gaming versus Pulsive. And they're getting right underway. Like you said, looking at this map right now, hey, this is a very center heavy map. And the first hard point is going to be right in that center. Just like you said, looks like everybody's wrapping around. Brandon's going to get the first pick up. He's going to go down for it. Bendy getting one back. Looks like the Saints are getting control right now. Two down for Pulsive. But they're still scattering around trying to maintain control and Saints have found their feet on it. They got to play defense now. Yeah, really good start here for St. Clair. You get the three down, you get control of mid, you get pushed up into you, but as you see this, Looney Ooh. is actually going to slide on in and pick up the kill twos. I do believe that's Bowser that's playing under Looney, so okay. uh, we'll just keep that in mind for the rest of the map, but a uh, great break there out of Pulsive and now St. Clair trying to battle back uh, as rotations start to come on through now for P2. It's going to be Bendy with a three-piece off screen, going to be able to break the hill for St. Clair, but as you see on your mini-map, three players for Pulse have already pushed up to new. Brandon in a very good spot here to try to catch him off guard. Ooh, but he is going to get picked off, unfortunately. Enslay as well going down. Priestly finding one more. They're making the way for the next hard point. Driz is going to catch off a rotation from Priestly, and they are going to find their feet in that, I like that, aptly named Infinity Pool. They're about 15 points in here. Saints almost doubled that so far, but they are trying to make their way back and getting a drill, and they're having a lot of success so far. Just pouring in, but two almost going down. In fact, no, we're going to get Looney. He's going to go down God Bowser. Going to lose his life there, and the Saints are going to take control of this hard point. Yeah, why is he just trying to stay alive? Slides in, but Nacho with the oh SMG going to take care of business, but it won't matter. Driz there for support. He's going to be able to get two with the help of Rispy on his side. St. Clair is still in the league, but that lead is dwindling away. And now with 20 seconds left, you see all the map control right now in favor of St. Clair going towards P3. But look at player number two, Wiser's going to be working his way down towards the bottom of the map. Might be able to catch that player off, and he does. So Bendy drops, Wiser's gets control of those back spawns, and now St. Clair going to have to battle through the front side of the map. All Already so scrappy. This game is very back and forth. Uh, ten point difference between these teams, and a lot of bodies dropping here as the new hard point spawns up. And it seems that Pulsive and Saints are still fighting for control. In fact, it's contested right now. Pulsive ultimately is going to take out that exchange, drop Enslay, and take control of the point. Saints are kind of.
kind of regrouping. They're biding their time, waiting for a good push that they can find. They drop Priestly, drop Bendy, so it's going to be another moment they got to maybe wait for things. But no, going to come through. Enslay is sliding his way. He gets to a nice spot, and the Saints are slowly inching their way onto the point. One by one, they're going through, but this hold is so strong. Ripsy is just tearing through the Saints as they try to find their feet on the hard point. They're going continually. There's like a wave, like you said, an invasion kind of, of trying to find their way onto that hard point. But 66 now, Pulsive has completely stolen the lead, and the Saints are doing their best to clamor their way back to that dominant position that they had before. Yeah, you can see the hot start from Rispy. 11 and 5 right now for him. The SMG or the AR in hand, it doesn't matter. Uh, he is doing all the work right now for Pulsive as St. Clair find themselves down by about 30 points here heading into the final hard point of this Ooh. rotation. Good opening kill from Brandon. Trades going back and forth. Priestly sides in. Needs to pick up this one. He does. And now all the pressure they need to look towards mid as it's going to be wise. There's the last player remaining up. Propulsive. Adriz does get that opening kill. So Priestly actually caught out. And now St. Clair on their uh -oh. heels. <laughs> and an easy break now for Pulsive. It started with that Driz opening blood. And okay. it left Bendy all by himself. So now St. Clair got to regroup. And they're going to try to push this from front. No pressure down mid. So we'll see how they decide to attack this. Three players sliding on in. Okay. Priestly picks up one. Looking for that second player laying down. No, he's oh, no. fully stunned up, and Bowser somehow gets the kill, and Slayer gets one back, and he's going to be able to get two. So the scrap time going to go the way of St. Clair unless Nacho dies off hill. Rispy going to get stunned up. Good kill out of them. So that's val valuable scrap time mm -hmm. right there for St. Clair as the rotations back towards P1 start to ensue, and St. Clair completely in control of mid-map. Yeah, that, those are good points to get, and uh, it's not worth it for Pulsive to try to push for that control. And thankfully, Saints maintain control of that hard point, and it's really close to the next one. Like you said, mid-map. They already have relative control of it. And as you see, they were able to establish a good uh, control of it just now, but Pulsive immediately stealing it back. It seems that Pulsive has really found the way they want to play around the Saints. They're catching them off of all of their rotations, and they can't find their way onto these hard points without losing so many of the team before they even have a chance to mount a real assault. Just there. Um, every time they try to get something going, the Saints fall down time and time again. But... They, are, they, they really can't get the momentum going, unfortunately. It seems that Pulsive is going to have this one on lock for the meantime, but I think the Saints are getting ready for another push. Yeah, uh, you, you're going to start to see St. Clair start to work their way all the way around the back. Well, great opening kill there from Wisers. That relieves that pressure on the left side. Mm. Now he's going to be able to get in towards the back. Not sure if he's going to get caught off guard. Doesn't really have a gunfight coming towards him. Now he does. Does finally get that kill. So another rotational win from Pulsive. Oh and oh my goodness, Wisers with a huge kill on Brandon in the back. And Pulsive in complete control of the point now. They are still spawning a little bit further out, and that's to like uh, thanks to the likes of Nacho, who's making his way towards the back. At least disrupts that push from Pulsive for the time being. But just a very scrappy point right now. It's very similar to the first rotation as Brandon tries to put some work in here on P2. Finds his way onto the point, but he's going to drop. It's a very common sight we've been seeing this entire time. The Saints get so close. They get into a gunfight, but they just can't win them. They're losing all of these gunfights where they definitely can't afford to be. As we see Looney, he's actually going to go down here. God Bowser is going to lose his life. Bendy's going to go down. Priestly going to take down Ripsy not too shortly after. And they're going to find their way to the point. He's going to find one, two. So close, oh. but ran out of ammo there. Had to reload, and he's going to lose his life for it. Free cam. Ooh, very pretty, very pretty. But it's not a pretty sight for the Saints as we're watching Pulsive completely take control of this hard point. And on the new one as well, take out Brandon who is waiting for that hard point to spawn up and they've already lost control. Saints Bendy can't win that exchange either. It's again, Pulsive. They just have the upper hand in all of these engagements. For whatever reason, the Saints are just not getting those critical engagements that they really need to get control. Pulsive at 190 now. Saints at a paltry 76. It's going to be a long way to victory if the Saints are going to have a chance in this one. Yeah, it's not looking good so far. They started off the game quite well and, and had a a couple squad wipes and we're able to get control of the points easily but ever since then Pulsive has taken complete control of this game and thanks to the likes of Rispy and Driz once again I can't mention them enough but honestly all around team effort right now from Pulsive is getting the job done Brandon trying to stay alive gets one looking for that second can't quite get it done and that's gonna be Driz cleaning up the final Ooh. player Priestley just gonna have to play a little bit of desperate Call of Duty here as they're trying to scrap for any or fight for any scrap time that they can. But they are going to be set up for new. Still 40 points needed now for Pulsive to close this one out. Priestley finishes that one off. Brandon with a nice opening kill on the new point. So 
It's going to be Wiser's able to get one. He's the last one up, last one even remotely close to this hill. The longer he can stay alive, the better, but Henslay gets oh. one, but Wiser's, no one's looking to the right to go down. Rispy gets the third, and this might be game very, very shortly, unless Bendy can do something special, and he, he does. does. There's three right back for St. Clair. They're fighting as hard as they can. There's so, so much work to do left for Saints, but... A good start, nonetheless. A good start for sure. They're establishing that they have some control now, but just as I say that, they've gone ahead and lost it. They still have Priestley in the area. Uh, another one of his teammates, Brandon, not too far behind, but he is going to get put down immediately after Priestley does. That definitely was a surprise to him. It was a surprise to me. Enslea going to take down Driz, and that hard point is open, but Enslea is going to go down as soon as Wiser shows his face. Priestley is going to get the revenge kill. Looney is fighting for his life. Didn't even know where to look there. I can't blame him. Uh, Ripsy is going to take down Ben on the point, but as he makes his way back, the hard point's gonna switch out. The Saints getting at least a couple seconds on there at the end, but they have control of this middle point. Once again, we're seeing a repeat of the last situation. They get it in the last few seconds, allows them to get control of this center point, but can they turn this into a meaningful hold? Can they hold out just a little bit longer? If they get a single pick off here, Priestley finds at least one. It's gonna be pretty good. He's gonna find one, almost gets two, but Saints already wiped out, squad wiped on the hard point, and this looks to be the game's Aaron. Yeah, that'll pretty much do it. St. Clair spawning out now. Wiser's cutting them off off the spawn. Brandon able to get one, but instantly traded out. St. Clair does slide on the hill temporarily, though, but finally Bendy, last one up, and that's going to do it. Pulsive going to take game one by a landslide, and what looked like a promising start for the side of the mm -hmm. St. Clair Saints uh, turned out to be a disaster towards basically uh, the last two-thirds of that map, and uh, unfortunate for St. Clair. But on the other side of Pulsive, I mean, can't talk about Rispy enough. He did so much work with both guns in his hand, uh, was able to break hills basically by himself, and he saw the team efforts. Uh, really very well done for Pulsive, just staying mm -hmm. alive as long as they could to wait for the teammates for support. You see across the board, pretty even in the stat category um, all yeah. across, and a couple struggles on the St. Clair side, but really all around great effort from Pulsive, and they'll take map one. For sure, yeah, undeniably, like you said, it was a very a dominant victory near the end, but not to take any credit from the Saints, to start things out, it was pretty good for them. They had a very strong lead. I think they went up to like 47 without really seeing much competition back from Pulsive. But something changed somewhere near the middle of that game. And I'm curious, like, what you think was the X factor that kind of decided that gave Pulsive the advantage? Uh, for me, like what I saw was just every single engagement, any single gunfight that the Saints took, they just never won them. And uh, Curious your thoughts. I mean, sometimes it's is it can literally just be broken down to mm -hmm. exactly that. Sometimes you just lose the gunfight to get outslayed in a map. Um, in a best of three, things change though. Um, for sure, you don't have a lot of room for error. Um, I know we talked a little bit uh, before this oh, series yeah. about Coach it. Coaches never like best of three. Yes, yeah. I mean, it, I'm once, on the same once you get a once you get into a best of five, you have the ability to get into the series, get your mm -hmm. mental checked in a little bit more. Uh, but best of three, this is it. Saint Clair, if Saint Clair loses, they're done for the series. So um, mm -hmm. they need to they need to work their way back. And to answer your question. Um, just a better overall team effort from Pulsive and that that could be just lack of practice on the St. Clair side heading up to this. Um, um, and Bendy coming in, of course, a different player uh, than KB. So the familiarity, they're going to take a couple matches Gotta to get adjust. used to it. But this is a team um, that should be right around the top four range going down the line. But we'll see if they can bounce back here. Six star search and destroy just about underway. Yeah, Saints hoping to kind of bring things back, show that they got a life left in them here in Search and Destroy, but you have a lot less room for error in this very unforgiving game mode. You die, you're out of the round for good. One minute remaining for the attacking side, Pulsive, to plant the bomb, and they're already very close to the site, but can they turn this into meaningful? They're already starting to plant with the smoke up, too. That's very good, but they're trading lives out. Bendy going to take down Ripsy, but Looney going to take him down. Priestley jumping in, finds one. It's just Wisers, the last man standing for Pulsive, so pretty confident that Saints... Oh, actually, they didn't even get the plant. The Saints interrupted it, and that's going to be a very comfortable round for the Saints, unless Wisers is able to pull out something very, very surprising here, but no, they spot him out, take him down as he tries to retreat, and that's going to be round one going to Saints. Yeah, uh, very clean uh, retake on the B-bomb side there for St. Clair. Uh, very well coordinated. Bendy with that opening kill. Just pulled the player's attention just enough. Mm. Even though he got traded out, didn't matter. Priestley and Brandon were there to pinch that final player towards the gold steps, um, and they were able to take care of business. So good bounce back round for St. Clair. You got to think that they really wanted that one heading into game two after a tough loss uh, like they just suffered. So 
Good start for them. Pulsive now on the defensive side, obviously the favorite side. So we'll see how the Saints elect to attack at this side. And it looks like they are going to do exactly what Pulsive just did. So they're going to lean towards this B-bomb site. Some gunfight's going to go down a minute. It's going to be Driz getting stunned up. So that's information gained on both sides. And now just a little bit of a stalemate as Bendy tries to stay alive here and just gather the information as Bomb's just about to go down. Yeah, Bomb's planted over on B-side here. Pulsive now going to have to answer, but Bendy's camping out in his kitchen. You might hear them sliding around. Yep. It's hard not to, but he's not going to catch any of their sight lines. They're not going to be able to take anyone out. Uh, going to stay there for the time being, however. Ow. On the retake, Pulse is going to find two immediately, but Priestley going to take down uh, Ripsy as he finds his way onto the point. He's going to almost go down himself there. 20 seconds remaining, he's going to fall, and the Saints are going to get wiped out. Bendy was also taken out in, in the midst of all that chaos, and Pulse is going to get the defuse on this round too. Yeah, I mean, a, a 4v4 retake, it's really about who gets first blood. That can really? ultimately okay. decide the round once Bomb is down. Um, and right there, Pulse of able to pick off Brandon, and that just opened up one side of the map completely. And from there, they were just able to slide on through, pick up uh, basically everybody else. Bendy was able to get one back, but it didn't matter. As Pulse of with a very good retake themselves. Now back at the offensive side as we find ourselves at a 1-1 draw. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I, I really want to see how they're going to go about approaching this one. That, that I think a big part about how that retake went was the confidence. You can't hesitate in a situation like that. It gives you too much room for error. And you can definitely correct me if I'm wrong after this exchange here. It looks like we're going to be playing on A side for the first time in the search and destroy. A lot of shots ringing out. Nobody's safe here, but safe enough that no one's died just yet. Brandon almost does. Trophy System is going to make all his efforts there null and void. They're going to be completely suppressing this hallway, make sure no one can get in. And they're going to be going for the plant, which is going to go down just now. It's going to be a 4v4 retake situation yet again. Can the Saints pull off what Pulsive did in that last round? Yep, 4v4 bomb down, like you said. Similar to last round. Brandon. There's that opening blood onto Brandon. Smoked off is Bendy and Nacho trying to work the middle of the map. Nacho's going to get tagged up, or Bendy's going to get tagged up. We'll get one back, though. Priestley drops in the meantime. Rispy picks up one more, and now 1v3 with bomb down. It's going to be very difficult for Bendy to try to win this one. Going to get the reach out and Pulsive take the offensive victory. And an important one at that. This could be perhaps uh, be the swing round for the rest of this game as Pulsive looking good yet again here in map number two. I gotta I gotta ask, like for me at least thinking about it, it's it seems so difficult to try to go for a retake with the trophy systems in yeah. the game. How are you supposed to you know, they have all the angles down. Is it really just gotta run in, slide, jump, hope you get something? Yeah, in a situation like that. So the, the trophy system only takes two ticks for it to, to blow up. Mm. So um, ideally, if you still have stuns in your hand, you, you just want to throw them first and then get the nades in once you gotcha. know the trophy is down. Um, St. Clair just didn't have enough utility to retake that site and uh, ultimately cost them. You saw Brandon almost get killed trying to throw a grenade in there. Um, yeah, just uh, just not enough utility on the St. Clair side as they're going to lean bomb towards deep, deep A as Rispy trying to get a little bit flanky. Going to get caught out. That's going to be... Uh, I believe that was Bendy picking up the kill with bombs. Now they're going to lean towards B. That's two two going down. Make it three. Ooh, one before. Clean. Nice clean round. Bomb plant not necessary. So St. Clair <laughs> answering back with an offensive round themselves. Saints, they want to show that they are not to be messed with here. A very confident, very confident and capable round four? <laughs> round something here. Yeah, yeah, Tying yeah, the series four. up 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> and uh, I'm very excited to see that the Saints are still fighting strong here. Didn't even go for the plant. They just straight up won by kills and eliminations. Uh, looking at this next round here, Saints on the defensive. Hopefully they can tighten things up, make it a little bit harder for Pulsive to have their way with the map and really take control of all of these different angles and sight lines. Seems they're going to be sending one to the A site. Saints are going to be splitting up now, sending players to A to B, trying to just take control of the map, see if they can spot anybody out as they make their way to the site. No confrontations just yet, but we're going to see one inevitably soon if Brandon's going to keep pushing wisers like this, but they're going to be waiting each other out. They find their way onto the B site and they start planting completely uncontested by the Saints and they're going to—they're in for a rude awakening as they now recognize they have to do a lot of work and get into high gear over to B site before this bomb goes off. Yeah, just keep an eye on player number two. He's going to be able to catch one off right here. Oh, Brandon almost able to get the kill. This is another important gunfight. Driz loses that one, Three. so big win from Bendy. Now back 
Bowser on the outside oh, gets shut down Lord. by Priestley as well. So man advantage for St. Clair trying to defuse this bomb. Bendy chasing this player in the back. He's going to get that info for his team. Wiser still somehow picks up the kill. Bendy gets one back. 1v1. 15 seconds left oh, to God. go. All Rispy needs to do is All just stay alive you. in the corner. No. And Bendy gets taken out. Pulse of win the offense. And back in fourth round, you got to think if Bendy doesn't chase that kill maybe, maybe whoever was sitting a uh, top p3 there uh would have just turned around and gotten that info i'm not sure if there was a miscommunication or what it could have been but nevertheless pulse of get the round after a very uh, nice 1v1 win by rispy played that quite well with such little time left bendy doing quite well this map eight and four and, and i will say that's one thing that he does bring to this team is search and destroy presence he for sure um, i can see it certainly uplifts uh the team's s and d uh game mode so and showing exactly that so far so st Clair now on offense again they're gonna need one back wisers tagging each other up him and Priestley. bendy starts with the opening blood again i believe that's the third time already he's been able to open up with the first blood and now st Clair with man control oh, so over close. towards the a site just spraying through the smokes. If only he knew how close he was to getting those hit markers, he'd be heartbroken. But with 3v4, oh, well, now 2v4. Things are looking very good for the Saints. They're pouring their way over onto the B site, or A site, rather. And uh, Driz is not going to find them as they advance in. However, I don't know if they noticed he was there taking shots out at him, but they're going to get the plant down. Oh, Looney, or um, Bowser is going to take down Priestley in a brief exchange there. Not all hope is lost, narrowing the gap just slightly, two to three. Can they make this work? Bowser slowly creeping his way into the site, throwing out a nade. Can draw some attention? Drez is going to get shot at. Trophy system is going to go down. Bowser on the high ground, wow. but no, it's not going to matter. Betty's going to take him down, and in response, Drez tries to avenge his fallen teammate, but he gets put down just as abruptly. Saints taking this back another round for them. Yeah, I mean, that all started with the opening pick by Bendy, again, for the second or third time this game. Uh, big reason why St. Clair does have three rounds on the board, but I got to give credit uh, to Nacho, who just waited oh, yeah. patiently on the outside. Sometimes you start the game with no kills, you get a little bit desperate, you start to get a little bit uh, loose with your gameplay. Nacho, very, very patient on the low left side, able to get the second kill to ultimately make it a 4v2. So uh, nice, nice job from him. And St. Clair, once again, with an offensive round, and back towards A we go, as Pulsive going to three-hit this one. And now, as they kind of face a little bit of resistance too much for their liking, Saints reconsidering their angle of defense here, as they don't want to commit too much. They don't want to lose anybody here. They uh, saw the util being committed. Hopefully, they're going to be able to play with that in mind. They can try to play with that to their advantage, knowing that they might be down on some nades. As they get the plant down on A, the Saints are going to be in too low spears, but coming on the corner, Brandon avenges Nacho as he gets taken down by Driz, peeking around that corner. Priestley holding the sight lines ever so dearly. If he plays a little bit, okay. They spot him out, they know where he is. Not gonna be able to get that kill there, but it was damn close. Brandon gonna lose to Bowser there, but Bendy as well, catching two. It's a two for one deal, and as Priestley hovers between that sight line once again, he is ultimately gonna get taken down. A very comfortable victory for Pulsive. Yeah, I mean, this, this game has uh, quickly turned into offensive heavy mm. uh, round wins. Um, after the first two rounds, obviously, being defensive wins. Ever since, it's been all offenses for these two squads. So, St. Clair, you're up. Trying to tie this one back up again. Trying to make this one a best of five going down the stretch here in game number two. As uh, Pulsive, two rounds away from securing the series win as well as the map win. And really setting themselves up nicely for this Group B uh, coming out as a one seed. But St. Clair still got time to answer. Can they do it here? Bendy 10 and 5, looking for that opening blood once again. Running their way over Saints on the attacking side. I feel like not obviously winning rounds is important to winning the series, but I feel like even for their morale, I feel like this is going to be a very important round because it's, like you said, it's been consistently trading back and forth, attacking, attacking, victory. But... I feel like if the Saints drop this one, it'll be very hard to recover from. They'll be on match point, and they'll also be uh, devastated after the attacking victory, but it looks like they don't want to give it up just yet. Priest is going to take down Ripsy after he takes down Bendy, but Saints slowly trying to figure out a path to a site here. They have to decide their angle of attack, where they want to approach from, and how they're going to go about doing so. Like you said, Nacho, the patient player that he is, wow. but unfortunately, he's going to get ran down by Bowser. Priest is going to be able to pick up the kill. Another opportunity, another opportunity afforded to the Saints by 
why Nacho's sacrifice. So hopefully they can do something with it. And that they are. Unfortunately for Pulsive, they're on the they're opposite side of the map. Sight's open. They're going to go for the plant. Can't, are you confident that these boys can get this hold? Well, they're going to have to. They will have a free bomb plant, which is good. You're going to see Drizzt Drizz make his way over, trying to catch his player off a of bomb. Not going to happen. Spotted out and somehow stays alive down to 27 HP. Is Priestley going to get overzealous here? Nope. No, he's just going <laughs> to slide back. Probably a wise decision from Absolutely. him. And now a 2v2 on the site. 30 seconds left to go. First Brandon, shot is Brandon go. with a huge kill. And now 1v2 for Wisers. Had a very strong map in map number one. Spots Ooh. one out, gets one. Absolute one shot. Brandon! Brandon with the trade gonna get the job done and we're all notched up at four and I I think I saw St. Clair wrap that bomb four different times going from the A site to the B site back to the B site or back to the A site uh, th a lot of moving around in the back of their spawn but it ended up paying off they got the free bomb plant down pulse of just a little bit late to the party and all the info gained for St. Clair and a good round for Brandon allow St. Clair to get their fourth round here in game two. I know Brandon's feeling himself right now, and I hate it. He's probably so hyped. But you know what? He earned it this time. Absolutely. Excellent plays, clutching it out for his team there, and we're going into this next one. Conversely, the Saints are going to be really hoping that Pulsive loses this round because it would be such a huge boon for their success. A lot less scary going to the next round if they manage to take this one out. But Wiser's going to find the back of Nacho down that corridor, but a lot of trades going out at the end of it. As the dust settles, we're down to a 2v2 situation over on A site. Bendy almost losing his life there, throwing out a nade, trying to run his way around. He's got uh, Brandon with him, you know, the veteran from the previous round, holding on to his success from it. Oh, but Bendy through that sideline, almost finding it. This could be huge. Like you said, sliding his way in. He's on site now. He's kind of done the hard part of the retake. Now he's just to make sure his teammate can help him out, support him. Over on the left side, however, a flank's coming through. Bowser finds Bendy. He's going to go down. Brandon getting the retaliatory kill. It's a 1v1 situation over on A site. It's everything on the line here. But no way. God. What a oh win! My God, it was as close as you possibly could have gotten. Wow. But in the end, I thought Brandon took that one. Yeah, <laughs> I, honestly. Uh, but Drizz going to take it over. Saints oh. dropping it. Br Brandon ran out of ammo. You could see the really? gun, the gun cocked back. His his uh, Renetti. So he did run out of ammo in That's that why gun you're fight. Here. But man. Such a such a close gunfight and so close for St. Clair to put themselves on map point to, you know, force a game three. But now huh? they're going to have to do some work back on O. Oh, you got to think incredible. one more bullet would have gotten the job done for St. Clair. But fantastic clutch out of Wisers. Gets it done and now Pulsive looking to take this series right here and now. Yeah, I never would have noticed that detail about the Renetti. <laughs> the hit, you, know, you know the small details. That's why we got you. The, the big brains here. But Saints... If there's one thing I can recognize in Call of Duty, it's when a team must be nervous. And this is a situation you're down to already on match point, uh, series point. They are getting absolutely melted. Nacho, so close to the last man standing for the Saints, but he's going to go down. They got the plant. Unfortunately, they couldn't tie it together to get a clean victory. Unfortunately for Saints and very fortunately for Pulsive, they are going to take this series 2-0 after a 6-4 search and destroy. Yeah, again, great overall effort once again from Pulsive. Back and forth pretty much that entire S&D, so an entertaining one at that, and a 1v1 that close could have determined uh, game number two here in the series, but at sure. the end of the day, it's going to be Pulsive with a very impressive victory over uh, the hometown team in the St. Clair Saints. Uh, they will move on to 1-0, St. Clair will drop to 0-1, and, uh, and obviously top three move on to bracket play. Um, the third seed goes to the loser's bracket, top two go to the winner's bracket. Gotcha. But ideally, you want to be in that top two uh, threshold. So St. Clair looking for two wins at the very least to get into the winner's bracket. Uh, on the other side, uh, Pulsive, great start for them. That's probably the team that they needed to beat to secure this group. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, anything can happen. Uh, but being the two of the four favorites here, um, Pulsive put the, putting themselves in a really good position already now uh, to get themselves to Sunday. So uh, it's going to be Pulsive with a 2 0 win here. Yeah, 2 0 win over the Saints. Not a small feat, not very easy to accomplish, but. They made it look pretty easy, especially in that game one, unfortunately. Not to not to denigrate your boys there. We both know right. how capable these players are. That just goes to show how capable Pulsive is if they were able to take that victory and also take it in such a convincing fashion. But that was going to be uh, – that's match one that we're going to be covering. Uh, done.
we're going to be heading up to our next match, hopefully sometime soon. But before we send it to a quick break, any last thoughts, you know, watching your boys, seeing how they're performing, what do you think their chances are going through for today? Um, like I said, I said it before the series, I, I'll say it right now. I think uh, this team is more than capable of winning the entire event. Um, it's it's going to take a little bit of growing pains, as we saw uh, in those first two games. But um, they're going to have more favorable matchups for the rest of group play. Mm -hmm. We'll hopefully... Um, allow them to get into their into their game mode because you know this team has performed really well against very good teams and even better teams than the one that they just faced. Um, I expect them to be uh, much better for the rest of the tournament and for Pulsive. I think again they're they they can roll from here. They they'll probably finish the group three and zero. Coming up next on stream is going to be GG Supernova going up against PenJ all day. So a battle of the Canadian colleges coming up, um, and we'll uh, we'll cover that in just a sec. But for now, we'll throw it to a quick little break. Don't go anywhere. TXP action continues after this. <laughs> 